say they do. So that's why they're, they're, they're being recognized and utilized throughout the industry now. Okay, now pap papain, bromelain, pineapple enzyme, papaya enzyme, I've been using yep. them for many years, but you had threw a couple in there that are very interesting. For example, the natokinase, lots of wonderful literature on natokinase for the circulatory system. And then I want you to tell us a little bit about the CPROS as well. So why don't you give a little blurb, a little, some of the highlights about the natokinase and some of the literature that's involved uh, that talks about natokinase for the circulatory system, the heart and the blood, and then talk a little bit about the CPROS as well. Sure. Natokinase, again, was kind of discovered by accident. You know, a Japanese researcher that was uh, in their culture, they eat natto as far as it's a food source, you know, fermented soybeans. So this was the, the main active component in that, which has led to, you know, that culture being a, a very healthy culture, relatively speaking, compared to other cultures in the world. So um, this particular enzyme, yeah, through the last, you know, uh, you know 10 plus years of research has shown that it'll, it'll, um, reduce blood viscosity, right? So it thins the blood, uh, and, and it also acts on and digests fibrin, which those, the, the fibrin is ultimately, or could be ultimately responsible for uh, what we call strokes and heart attacks. So it, 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 it works very uh, um, efficiently and very um, methodically, and, it, and, it, and some doctors, uh, medical doctors, have, have uh, um, are recommending it even. That's how and it has no, this is the beautiful part of it. it. Enzymes have no negativity associated with them. There's no, no toxicity, toxicity side effect. There's yeah. no, there's, yeah, you can't take too many. You can't take too much. There's, there's, there's nothing. So like with these uh, people that are experiencing around some type of warfarin or Coumadin, uh, I mean, there's just serious complications and lots of adjusting and readjusting and whatnot. It's a, it's a very Testing, diagnostics. Process. You got you to have your blood yeah, tested and, every couple of months, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, and we're and 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 where natokinase got its kind of foot in the door. People, most people don't realize this was a was a product called Flight Tab, because when people take transoceanic flights and they sit in their seats for for you know, 10, yeah. 12, 14, 16, 18 hours, um, the the Clots. blood flow stops. Yeah, right? and it's happened to Steve Wallach. Clot. Happened to Steve. Steve Wallach. Did it really? Yeah, it happened to him. He he was out of commission for a couple months. I think he went to Australia, and uh, he ended up with a severe blood clot. That's exactly. That's very well stated. So you're saying take this before if you take the well, he was, enzyme. He was, he was he was very fortunate because why the airlines? Because the airlines opened this up to all pharmaceutical industries as well as the nutrition industry. Said, hey, we need a solution because people are getting up off the flights, walking off, and then and then dying immediately after they get off the flight. And it's like there was a huge liability. So they came up with a product that has natokinase as well as a, a, a well-known antioxidant. I believe it was grapeseed. So they combined these two together, and it was a, called a product called Flight Tab. So if you take this product before you jump on one of those flights, again, it's what I, what I said. It, the enzymes do two things. They break things down, speed things up. So it just keeps the blood thin. It keeps it circulating. keeps it moving so that you don't – it basically alleviated that issue or liability for the airline industry. Very nice. No, but you could do the same thing with the bioluminitely essence. I'm going to Australia yep. here in yeah. a couple of weeks. Should I, should I pop uh, a whole bunch before I get on the plane? Well, just two. I mean, this, the, the, that's what the other beautiful thing about this product is that the doses in here, you'll see that 2,000 FU, every single research study, clinical study that's been done on natokinase is at this level. So you don't need to you know, bring the For whole bottle or whatever or take the whole wow. bottle. Just take the two capsule dosage and you're done. All right, that's awesome. Now, how about the rutin? Tell me about that. Rutin is a bi for the uh, listeners a bioflavonoid, I believe, and found in various it, uh, fruits and vegetables. What's what was the thinking there? Yeah, again, it's, it, it has a it, there's a historical um, perspective too. I mean, one of the first enzymes on the market uh, that's widely marketed. It's, probably, it's the best selling enzyme in the world. Was the first company, so I'm not going to take credit for that to use rutin with enzymes. But they they used uh, mainly animal based enzymes, which. For me, the, the, the plant-based or the fermented enzymes are, are, have a much wider pH. They do more work over a wider you know, range of, of uh, environments. So the, I believe they're much more effective. But rutin, going back to that, is just a powerful antioxidant, and, it's, and it has anti, you know, powerful anti-inflammatory effects. So it works very nicely because that's what enzymes do. So a lot of times, whatever, and I tell people, whatever, you add, whatever enzymes are added to, they only do two things. They speed things down and break things up, so I don't care whether you add an enzyme to food. It's gonna, it, you're going to absorb the food faster and get more out of it. If you take it with root and you take it with any other supplement, it's going to break those supplements down and get them to you faster and you get, get more out of them. 
you know, and it also is on the, conversely on the other side. That's why if, if people are taking, let's say, insulin, right, and they start taking enzymes, you're going to have to adjust the level of insulin because enzymes speed things up and break things mm. down. You're going to be getting more out of that, so you, so you need less of it. Now, now, you call these systemic, on the, on the bottle, they say systemic enzyme blend, but you can get digestive benefits too, no? Yeah, absolutely. These are, these are all protein-based enzymes, which, you know, if, if you're on one of those high-protein diets, mm -hmm. right, I would highly recommend taking a product like this because you're going to subject yourself to um, all the byproducts of protein digestion. So all the uric acid that's being produced, if your body's not breaking that down and you're not drinking plenty of water to eliminate that, I go, you're actually going to be causing more long-term damage to your organs than the short-term benefit that you're going to get from a little bit of weight loss. Hmm. And theoretically, anyway, when we ate protein foods, meat, they were supposed to have enzymes in them, weren't they? Of course, that doesn't occur with, with processed no. food. So, so not only are we getting crappy food and nutritionally deficient food, but we're getting enzyme, enzyme poor food, food that doesn't have enzymes in it. So you end up with digestive issues on top of everything else. Yep. Well, what is the C process? What exactly is the C process? It's a proteolytic enzyme. I know that, but what is it? What? Go ahead. Yeah, it's a very, very, very unique enzyme. In fact, it's my favorite enzyme. So from a, from a historical perspective, it was discovered back in the late 60s. So this is one of the oldest known as far as, uh, you know, and again, most of these enzymes, you know, it's no surprise that they're originated or came from Japan. So Japan is, uh, you know, in fact, most people don't know this, that the Japanese market is the largest enzyme market in the world. They sell more enzymes huh. because people get enzymes in japan you don't need as to medicine educate as, or sell people it's just they just buy enzymes because as they medicine know. they're using it as, as medicine or not just for digestion oh. but yeah oh. yeah like and c-pros in, in c-pros in japan is actually a, 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 a over like an otc over-the-counter drug so interesting um, they use it over there for or uh for any type of respiratory illnesses so we're talking you know from tuber tuberculosis emphysema any kind of bronchial asthma bronchitis wow. Uh, you, Troy, I mean, and, Troy it's, and it's been recent. Go ahead. There's so much I want to talk to you about, but we're out of time. We got to get you oh. back. Is that fair? <laughs> we, it's, we only get an hour here. So can I? Uh, we'll get you back though, right? Maybe next week oh, or the absolutely. week after. Yeah, got this, so much more yeah, I want to talk. Exciting stuff, and and thank you. This is my favorite uh, longevity product. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. My, <laughs> I like the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. We'll have to get you some of that. Thanks, Troy. We'll talk All to you right. soon, okay, thank buddy? Thank you. Take care. Okay, have a great bye. day. That was Troy Opperly uh, from Enzymology Research. And the formulator of my second favorite, or well, I will say one of my two favorite longevity products, the Biolumin Nightly Essence. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or call the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470 if you're dealing with an autoimmune problem or a digestive problem or skin problem. Biolumin Nightly Essence. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, spectacular beautiful day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.